Hey, this is Lisa Kent. Here I am with a midnight talk for you. I am coming back with episode two in our Excuse Busters. This is Excuse Busters, all those excuses why you could not work out at home. We're going to get rid of them. Now, in episode one, we talked about that wonderful excuse, but I don't have any room to work out. We found all these nifty little places in your house that you can work out from little hallways, the garage, the bed, you can work out in bed, the chair that you have to work in, your workout chair, all those. Now here's the second excuse and we're going to get rid of it. The second excuse is, but I can't afford to buy any of that workout equipment. It is so expensive. Look at the gym, the treadmills. I cannot afford to buy equipment to work out at home, so I can't work out. That's excuse number two. Now, let me reach over here and shed some light on that excuse. I have the best place to just go and get everything that you would need to work out. And that is our famous, fabulous Walmart store. Or you could try the dollar store, or you can try any of those little retail, discount, whatever little stores with the nicky nackies in a Target. If you want to be a little bit more upscale, you can go to Target for another extra dollar or two on these things. You can also probably find them in your kitchen cabinets, in your attic, in your little storage area, the back of your closet, or you can find some of these things just lying around the house just like change underneath the couch. So, what I have to work out at home is an amazing subscription to this wonderful, it, it, it streams all these things. We have like a, a whole bunch of them. You, you choose a trainer and you can get into everything there. It's an all access, it's just great. Most of the things that these trainers use in order to build up your muscles, exactly what you have on they use the weight of your body so there's no excuse if you have a complete workout where all you need are your arms and your legs and you can build up the muscle from doing that using the weight of your own body I had my little girl as a cheerleader and she was a base and I have seen her do what they call arm push-ups you put yourself up next to a wall and do a handstand you're braced on the wall, and while you're doing the handstand, you do push-ups with your arms. Now that is using the weight of your body to build muscle. They do that, they're, and they're very good. You have these, they show you how to do it. Not only that, but they make it fun, and they make it really exciting. And then you see the pounds come off. You see the muscle build up. Okay, so you use mostly your body. If you need weights, they usually oh, recommend for women the lighter weights. You want something that's about three pounds, and then the heavier weights for you are five. For your gentlemen, you start out with five pounds, 15. These are weights to sort of increase that pull. Not your big, I am bodybuilder weight, but the ones that you use with more reps that build your muscles. I have a set of them right here. They are not scary. Weights, I think weights can be scary sometimes when you see them. These are brightly different colors. They even have numbers in them. These are at Walmart. They're Walmart weights. I have threes my, and fives. My husband uses the fives. I use the threes. I've got little ones. I have just these little things that people use when they run, and I, I use those sometimes too. But that's all I need. And Walmart rates weights are not imposing. They are not scary. They are really kind of cute. So I like my weights. They are very inexpensive. They are like under $5 expensive per weight. No excuse on that. You can get some weights. Just a couple. Next thing, those resistance bands. You'll see them work in the resistance bands. You can find those all over the place. They usually give them away like party favors. If you can't find them, bungee cords. 
if you've moved recently, you will have them in your garage or all over things. Bungee cords are great for resistance. Be really careful with them because you don't want to have anything sharp in case you drop them. But bungee cords used with a great deal of respect can be good. And while you're in there searching for the bungee cord, see if you can find one of those old jump ropes that your kids had. Jumping rope is an amazing aerobic activity. It's not fancy. I really don't have a streaming workout video for them, but it's a blast. And you can do that with jump rope. You can do that with just rope that you use to tie things together when you moved into your house. That's another thing. That's a, it's not very expensive either. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, exercise balls. Have you ever seen that place in Walmart where they have all the balls in the cage and they go up about 7, 12 feet? Grab yourself a ball. If you are lucky enough to have a workout partner, you can work out together. You, do, you can do partner workouts with a ball. We have a wonderful streaming program coming out for that. It's going to be so much fun. You can work out with your kids. Instead of doing the great big medicine ball, if you happen to have it, it's terrific, or something that you sit on, you can grab that beach ball and do some things with the beach ball. Um, let's see what else there is. Oh, there's a really new one that we have that is really fun. It is based on the kind of workouts that you do when you see your kids do when they're doing skill training and endurance training get ready for football and for baseball and you always you look at it they look like they're having such fun they're going out touching things running back doing suicide runs doing all this stuff well they require that you have these brightly colored plastic objects you put them out in four corners and you touch them and you move and it, it's really really creative you can use Tupperware lids. You just grab some Tupperware lids, do some things where you reach for them. You can reach for them in between push-ups and stuff. That's all you need. A little bit of thought. And you have everything to work out at home, at home. So that excuse of, I can't work out. I can't afford that fancy equipment. Those great big weights, the stair stepper. How am I going to afford that? You don't have to afford it. You can look and find little things at your favorite Walmart store. I think these are so cute. I think I like the pink one with the three on it. That's my favorite. You can get things out of your closet. If you put your mind to it, you can even use your own body. Get yourself some muscles. Just the idea is to keep moving. Hi, Katie. Katie is here to see me tonight. Miss Katie, I haven't seen you in, what, 30 years? And we are all so young. It is, I love seeing your posts. I really do. I think you have just a, such an exciting life there. We were over at the Grand Canyon. We were at the Grand Canyon recently. I wish I'd known I'd come see you. Anyway, I am procrastinating, which is another excuse we'll get to down the line. So busting the excuse for working out at home Number one, well, number one was, I don't have room. You can find room. Number two, I don't have enough. Yes, it is me. <laughs> it is me, I love. My Katie, my best, best friend from third grade. Ah, oh, it's so much fun. Anyway, second excuse to bust is, I don't have the money to work out. You don't need a lot of money. You need yourself. You need a couple of dollars here and there if you want to expand. You can do it. Oh, don't forget that yoga mat. You can buy a very inexpensive yoga mat, a little bit of uh, fluff in between you and the floor. But I found, when I like, could not find my yoga mat, I lost it, that if you put down a towel folded several times, it does the same thing. Then when you're done, you can use the towel wipe off the sweat. This is doing two things at once. So that is it for tonight. I'll have another excuse buster at another time. It was so exciting to see you here. Nice to see you again. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. If you think this will help somebody who is spitting out excuses about why they can't get moving at home, then, oh, that is. Uh, Katie just gave me a very good idea. 
Weights are at goodwill all the time. They're always getting rid of them. Very easy to find there. Excellent suggestion. Thank you. So share it if you have somebody who gives you this excuse to say, no, 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 you don't have to have that. You can get that right there. And if you have any questions about, oh, maybe some exercises you can stream yourself, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to talk to you about them. We can get together, maybe make up a program for you. So it has been a blast. And I will see you again when we have Excuse Buster number three. It'll be a surprise. Have a great night. Get a good night's sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.